Hello everyone and welcome to a new adventure in Mary's Hair, an interactive horror game, which I believe it's styled like a novel type interactive deal, and it's about an actual old tale of Mary's hair, which I'd never read or heard of before, but it's supposed to be a very gruesome story. So this is your warning, okay? You've not got a iron stomach made of iron and metal like myself. You might want to click off this video. But if you are brave enough to bear the story of Mary's hair, then join me, for we shall adventure this tale together. And I have no idea what this story is going to be about. All I know is it's gruesome, it involves Mary, and her, her rabbit, and that's it. But we're going to get into this. Okay, is that Mary? Hi Mary. The rabbit still breathes, barely. The rope holding the snare is weak, it could chew through it if it tried, but it wasn't so afraid. What's it afraid of? Is it afraid of me? It says it writhes and screams and squirms. Oh, this is cool. I have to like, click on the text. Mary leans over it. The sight is so pitiful it breaks her heart. She wants to let it go. Yeah, it looks pretty scared. I'd, I'd let it go. But her insides growl in pain. It's so frightened. Okay. It's been days. Weeks? Since they've had meat and the crop's been... What? It fights so, but it gets weaker and weaker. Oh, she wants to start a family for so long. How can she get what she wastes away? It's her or the hair. The hair or baby. That's no choice at all. Oh, <gasps> did we snap its neck? Oh my god. Enjoy the evening silence of full of rabbit stew and concentrate on the first time that they can remember. Oh, as they bask in the glow of the fire said, Mary looks at her husband, the light dancing across his eyes. For the first time, he's looked at her like that in so long. Nausea yanks her out of sleep and tries to wake it out. The morning are getting colder and she loathes to get out of bed, but no luck. The sickness gnaws at her until she stumbles out of bed. Well, you probably ate a bad rabbit. Maybe the rabbit ate some, like, poisoned cabbage. And now you eat poisoned cabbage in turn. That's the circle of life, Mary. Okay, we all can't be so greedy to try to provide for our family. Okay, that rabbit had a family. Maybe, maybe the rabbit robbed banks. I don't know. I can't judge rabbits like that. She doesn't make it far. Oh yeah, you look pretty sick there, Mary. The stew, it must have been the stew that made her sick. The meat was so tender and rich. But it can't be. Wasn't that days ago? Mary crawls back to bed, her head spinning stays there. She sweats and aches and her belly swells. What the fuck was that? A cause for celebration, isn't it? But she lays there and her fever dreams haunt her until she screams and shakes from her sleep over and over and over. The pain is so strong she doesn't know if she'll make it. She calls for her husband but there's no answer. She screams until her, th her throat is hoarse and she's still no answer. Somehow, panting, she drags herself out of bed. Her legs wobble and she fights to keep her knees from giving in as she tries to make her way across the room. A sharp pain sears through her. Whoa. Are you okay there, Mary? The doctor. Call the doctor. The doctor apologizing, his hands covered in blood and gore. It was too late. There was nothing that he could have done to have saved it. She should have been glad to have survived. Oh no. Oh no. His bloody hands cradled something Saul. What was to be her baby? His eyes are sad at first, but he takes a closer look. Oh no. Oh my god. What the? Doctor runs out without another word. His bloody hands clapped over his throat to keep himself from being sick. Mary Bose notices and closes her eyes. When she wakes, there's a faint pink stain on the floor. And sheets under her feel stiff and smell of something weird, acidic and foul. She sleeps deeply at long last, but not for long. The screams cut through her dreams again, and the bile rises in her when she wakes. So soon again, her belly grows. What? But how? This time, the midwife is called, and she isn't afraid. The midwife stays with her. More doctors are called to observe the curiosity as she delivers a bundle of after bloody bundle. What is going on? My god! A marvel, a freak! They examined her stillborn children, some with wonder in their eyes and others with a shudder, crossing themselves as through somehow 
her stillborn babies could hurt them. Is this eventually the blood stops? Is this like punishment for eating the rabbit? The poor little rabbit? So we're giving birth over and over? Oh my god. She hasn't taken a meal in weeks, but the taste of the rabbit stew still rises in the back of her tongue, mixing with the acidic bile that always hovers there. The doctors have gone away, though. The midwife still comes in to check on her. Her husband. She can barely remember his face. When was the last time she saw him? The days go by and her breathing swallows and her tongue tastes of sand. She shrivels up everywhere. Her skin screeches so thin it hurts everywhere except. Impossible. The belly stays round and satiable as thought. It's sucking out the fat, the blood, and the life from the rest of her. But there are no more babies coming. She doesn't have the strength. She fights for her last breath, remembering the rabbit in the snare, eyes wide, tugging as it choked, screaming and gasping. She thinks it must have looked the same now. Everyone to watch. If only she knew. That was the story? So I guess she ate a pregnant rabbit. And to get the strength to have a baby herself. But because she took the babies from someone else, she was punished. That was, that was gruesome in a way that I wasn't expecting. That was terrible. Holy moly. Like, my God. That was the epitome of, like, those old, dark, extremely gruesome stories. Like, the original, original Cinderella and all those types of stories that just end gruesomely. Well, I guess the moral of the story is that you shouldn't eat any rabbits, okay? Never eat a rabbit. That's, that, I don't know if that's a good moral, but it's the one that I'm taking from the story. Either way, that was Mary's hair. Very gruesome story. It lived up to its warning. My God. Either way, thank you all so much for joining me in today's adventure. As gruesome as it was, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And always, I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day as well. And I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.